Okay, this is a Smithy 1220XL that I got from off of Craigslist. And I just needed a, a lathe with a little bit smaller platform and I wanted the mill also. The thing I did not like about it is that you had to change the pulleys to change the speed, so I decided to add variable speed to it. So the button still works, it still turns it on, but when you when you turn on the button you can see it actually turns on the treadmill console. A lot of guys that are trade, changing over to the treadmill motors are looking for <clears throat> some way to control their variable speed. I thought why not just go ahead and use the controller from the treadmill. So there's the console and then if you go down down in here is actually where the board, the circuit board is out of the treadmill. So when we turn this on it defaults at one mile an hour so I'll go ahead and turn it on and you can see the spindle it's going in forward right now and or counterclockwise and you can control the speed just like you would a normal treadmill you just go up and it goes faster now it goes all the way up to 10 miles an hour which is quite a bit faster than the lay that I ran with the stock motor you can see it humming right along right there the nice thing about this is I kept the safety device of the treadmill so you can actually pull the key and it turns off and then it turns back on now to change the direction you do it just like you do with the other smithies you just change the direction and press start and now it's going in reverse now the nice thing about this is I wanted a real slow speed so you can actually slow this down this is about as slow as it goes but you can see it's just barely crawling and because I used the smallest gear ratio on the smithy it has a lot of torque I'll show you that in a later video when it uh, works really good for threading so as we walk around back here I'll show you the treadmill motor. Here's the treadmill motor. It's a little three uh, two and three quarter horse treadmill motor out of a pro form treadmill. And then this right here is a tube I just put on to actually keep the uh, metal shards out of this motor because it's not a sealed motor. And all the tension still works the same as it did before. You can control the tension on the on the pulleys. And if we open it up and look inside here, you can see I would go from the smallest to the largest, from the smallest to the largest. And the mill works the exact same way. Now the only thing that I was a little bit difficult on this is yeah, the, the spindle on the treadmill motor was larger than the spindle, than the pulley. So I actually had to mill that down. So if you're going to do this, make sure you find out what the shaft size is of the motor that you're taking off and then mill it down before you take everything apart. So that's how it all works and the button still works also. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Have a great day.